We're supposed to be training these men and women to be able to uh, defend, again, America in life and death situations. Instead, we're turning them into little political commissars. This is what they're recommending. And you can bet it's all being implemented. So what had happened was Trump had, had tried to stop a lot of this. I think he put forward a lot of um, regulations or at least rules or executive orders uh, to try to stop this in, I think it was in 2020, right? And as soon as Biden came in, all bets were off and it became the guiding force, this, this uh, critical race theory. Uh, ensure diversity and inclusion is incorporated in U.S. Air Force Academy guidance and policy. The Academy's diversity and inclusion plan must be updated as a strategic document guiding diversity and inclusion efforts across the institution. Now, when they say diversity and inclusion, they don't mean diversity and inclusion. They mean critical race theory that attacks individuals and classifies them according to race, is anti-American, and has nothing to do with diversity and inclusion. It's about alienating the military from the America that it's uh, being asked to defend. Expand um, the Dean of Faculty-led curriculum review to ensure all curriculum, as identified under the course of instruction, is reviewed for diversity and inclusion topics. All curriculum. So that means mechanical engineering. That means math. That means biology. Um, what does that mean? You know, the Air Force, I presume, has special forces training. How is that going to work? My gosh. We're supposed to be training these men and women to be able to uh, defend, again, America in life and death situations. Instead, we're turning them into little political commissars. And it's going to get people killed. It's going to get people harmed and injured. Because it's, it's, it's not a, 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 an expanding pie. It doesn't, you know, that they can do whatever they want in the period of time they have at the academy. So for every minute spent on diversity and inclusion, that's a minute less for the education they're supposed to be getting to defend the country in a way that protects their, their life and limbs and obviously the life and limbs of the Americans and anyone else they're trying to save. Outrageous. I tell you, the general core that's allowing this to go on, it's really unforgivable. It's really unforgivable. Educate and train cadets and staff on more specific DNI, diversity and inclusion concepts and skills in order to, degree to, to decrease incidences of microaggressions, unconscious bias, et cetera, and enhance retention inclusion. Again, you know what? You look all that up. It's, you can see it's crazy. It's crazy talk. And, and we're allowing our academy to be turned into a radical Marxist insane asylum through this process. In addition, we must train our leaders across the institution on how to facilitate critical conversations. There's that word, critical conversations, struggle sessions. You know, I want you to go back you know, I was telling this the other day. I digress a little bit, but I think you might appreciate it. The Last Emperor. It's a movie from 1987. So longer than I care to admit to. But it seems like it was just yesterday, right? But I encourage you to go back and watch that movie. And uh, it was a little too friendly to the Chinese communists. Uh, but it did a good job of showing, although frankly in an approving way, how the Chinese communists work, because they're the last, the last emperor there. Uh, he was friendly with the Japanese during the war, at least we're led to believe. And so the Chinese communists take over, murder all their political opponents, and take into custody the last emperor, and they dethrone him. And they make him, uh, uh, they send him to a political education camp. And he's put through these struggle sessions, these critical discussions, right? And it comes across, it's, we're supposed to believe it's something that's valuable and useful, but it's just communism. And what I liked about the movie is that it nicely described or showed uh, how these communists work. I mean, they want our cadets to be trained to intimidate other Air Force 
officers and service members on this Marxist anti-American agenda. Critical conversations on racial issues within the workplaces so all airmen can bring their full selves to work and leaders can create more inclusive spaces. Correlated to this effort is the need to develop a more robust racial bias incident reporting system with associated accountability and rehabilitation processes. Rehabilitation. Very Soviet of them, isn't it? To restore relationships in the event biases or microaggressions are experienced. I tell you what, if, my, if people are complaining about microaggressions, the folks complaining about microaggressions, they should be asked, what is their problem? It's absurd. There's an email where the sender and recipients are redacted that discussed required textbook readings on, quote, prejudice and discrimination. It includes uh, identifying examples of prejudice, stereotypes, and discrimination. Describe how explicit and implicit prejudice differ. Describe some of the social, emotional, and cognitive roots of prejudice. I mean, this is CRT 101. And it just gets worse from there. I, 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 I can't read anymore because I'm so angry about it. According to our, uh, our client's representative, uh, STARS president and CEO, uh, Dr. Ronald J. Scott Jr., uh, Colonel, uh, U.S. Air Force retired. He went to the, uh, he's a cl uh, graduate of the academy. He's the cl a class of 73. And he, he gets right to it. This is his comment on what we found. Diversity, equity, and inclusion training stems from Marxist-inspired ideology known as critical race theory. While attractive to those who believe in justice and equal opportunity, it empowers those who hold positions of authority or influence to coerce others into compliance. This phenomenon is what C.S. Lewis wrote about when he grouped people into the, quote, conditioners and the, quote, the conditioned in his 1940s book, The Abolition of Man. I, I commented in our release, these documents show our military and its rising leadership are under attack from within. The documents confirm U.S. Air Force Academy leadership is obsessed with anti-American critical race theory and seeks to punish and smear cadets through leftist indoctrination programs. Uh, my comment could have been stronger, but you heard what I said. I don't know how much more direct I can get about how dangerous I think this is. As I said earlier, Judicial Watch has taken the lead in exposing and stopping this critical race theory wherever it rears its ugly head, whether it be in our schools, uh, in our school boards. Uh, we also protect the victims of this oppression, the predations of the left who want to destroy anyone who opposes them. We represent teachers and parents and uh, others who have uh, fought against this and trying to expose it and have been punished for it. We've opposed critical race theory um, uh, agenda items such as requiring racial segregation or race quotas uh, in schools, uh, requiring, um, in the case of Minnesota, the Minneapolis Teachers Union contract uh, protects people based on race from hiring and firing under the contract. Wildly illegal. And let me just say this. This isn't a matter of, oh, this is unconstitutional. This is anti-constitutional, what's going on. And I tell you, uh, Judicial Watch is, I dare say it, second to none in exposing, suing, and trying to stop the critical race theory agenda. And we do it with your support, and I thank you for it. And uh, there's much more coming. Uh, we are not going to stop the heavy lifting on behalf of the rule of law, on behalf of the U.S. Constitution, on behalf of the innocents who are being victimized in our military, in our schools, in our corporations, employees, in our government, and just everyday citizens who, who face this through uh, abusive government policies. Uh, we've got to stop it because it's about protecting the country 
uh, from being destroyed by this rising Marxism. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.